Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the soul, the truth lies within, and now we are doing the recording for the present day. That is the 9th of March of a godly blessing. I am sure this godly blessing is going to reach you in a couple of days, maybe in a day or two. May you learn all of this and also listen to the recordings of 6th, 7th, and 8th March of a godly blessings and imbibe that knowledge slowly and deeply within you. So, what God's Supreme Father wants us to do in a godly blessing? Baba wants us to be completely pure and He wants us to be spiritually royal and our behavior to be royal on a second by second basis because our face and the way our character is defines how spiritually royal we are. And remember that blessing in which God says if you Think of yourself as a godly child. That is the highest level of true, pure pride. And how will a godly child behave is what God is reminding us on a daily basis. If we forget that we are godly children, if we remember that I am the child of so-and-so person who is so powerful in this world, then ego will arise. So, Godfather says in the today's blessing, May you be completely pure and give the experience of spiritual royalty through your face and your activities the foundation of spiritual royalty is complete purity it's not just becoming somebody who is into brahmachare or somebody who's completely into brahmachare and also into thinking pure and thinking pure not just for the self but thinking pure for others then you are completely pure so godfather says that brahmacharya is one aspect so not just that but pure thinking pure talking pure acting is a sign of spiritual purity then god says completely pure complete purity is royalty so divinity divinity or divine beings or deities are shown as royal beings why their faces are also royal that's why a lot of indians or bharatiyas they go to the temple of all the deities like lakshmi ji narayan ji and shri krishna and shri radhe and they go and they bow down why because of their royalty and their purity so god then says the form of a pure soul reveals the sparkle of this spiritual royalty how pure we are will define the sparkle of a spiritual royalty this sparkle can never be hidden you cannot hide it you cannot fake it you cannot just hide behind the big jargons of spiritual knowledge it is either there or it's not there it cannot be proved by talking about it it cannot be proved that you got purity and royalty of spirituality by declaring it so god says no matter how incognito some try to keep themselves how incognito means they hide themselves they don't want to show that they are actually very impure from within and they just showing outside that they are very pure and very learned you cannot do that in the spiritual knowledge it cannot be done it's impossible to do that everybody will come to know that you are weak from within then god says no matter how incognito some try to keep themselves their words their relationships and connections and the influence of their spiritual interaction with will reveal them how their relationships are how their connections with people are will reveal how their spiritual interaction will reveal how they are from within then god says so let each one of you look into the mirror of knowledge like we look at our physical self in a mirror and see whether we are beautiful or handsome or not god says that is worldly knowledge but look into the mirror of knowledge god has given us a knowledge and god is saying look at yourself means look at yourself means look at the soul that you and i are god wants us to look at the soul our mind how pure how beautiful the mind is here and god then says so let each one of you look into the mirror of knowledge and see whether royalty is visible on your face and your in your activities how you behave around people or whether your face and your activities are ordinary ordinary means you are getting angry easily you are getting egoistic easily and your face becomes dull in a situation 
you become sad in a situation then suddenly something happens you become very excited then suddenly you become dull god says that is a sign that you are not spiritual and you don't have spiritual power and you are not connected to the supreme spiritual god father you are disconnected so mood swings are a sign of non spiritual royalty now how do we attain the spiritual royalty what is that knowledge will, which will make us act behave in a pure manner is what we learn in the seven day course at brahma kumaris which you too can come and learn in any center in your own city or wherever you would like to go and learn it from with this om shanti